afternoon, I'm going to do a character analysis on, on uh, Sherlock Holmes, the unreleased powder and the release powder. Like whenever the scene first comes on on the new pilot, I've noticed that. Uh, number one, Mr. Watson's walking with a cane in a, like a downtown large city. And then in the release when he's in a park, looks like the suburbs of a city. And so that tells me that what the director was looking for, or the writer in this case was looking for in this particular situation, is they were trying to uh, give more of a personal sense to what they were trying to accomplish. Like, uh, say for instance, Mr. Watson, well, they both walk with a limp in both things, which helped out a lot. But the main difference, I, like I stated, was that he wanted to give us the impression of privacy whenever he did run into his friend. The next scene where it starts up with the next character, um, which will be... Mr. Sherlock Holmes, which is also the main character. Uh, the scene opens with him looking down at a body. So uh, basically the unreleased scene gives it more of a blue feel in it. And I like that instead of the more of a brownish I see in this one because Blue is telling me that I'm inside of a morgue and it should be cool in there. And the, the blue against the character is showing the coolness of the room. Where on the released one, it's, to me, brown just means a dry air area. The film was focused more on Sherlock Holmes. But although Mr. Watson was basically a supporting character, I felt that. They did not have enough camera angles pointing toward him in order to give him a clear vision of what we were trying to um, see. I feel that the newer film gives a clearer storyline for this, but the older film has shows you more of a personal effect with your character. So uh, this is my character analysis.